The LA Chargers are finally making a relatively good move once again in free agency after trading Keenan Allen, cutting Mike Williams, leaving their wide receiver room in shambles. However, they are making a move to their defense, a move that needed to be done as soon as possible. Jim Harbaugh gets a solid player here. Now, according to Ian Rappaport, the Chargers are expected to sign their former second round pick and veteran linebacker Denzel Perriman to a one-year deal, low-risk, potentially high-reward opportunity here for both sides. Now, he was in San Diego and LA from 2015 to 2020 and now is back with the Chargers, right? So in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Denzel Perriman if you don't remember him or if you are a new Chargers fan. So don't worry, going to get you guys covered um and up to date before we get into that make sure you guys do me a favor subscribe if you're new it's free doesn't cost anything as well as comment down below a letter grade for the offseason so far right they bring in a brand new star running back in gus edwards sign hayden Hurst, will disley puna ford troy die and now will um will uh denzel perriman so let me know what you guys think down below and let's get right into the video now, Denzel Perriman is a very intriguing player, obviously spent his first six years in San Diego and LA with the Chargers, but then moved on to the Las Vegas Raiders, where he had his best season yet. In 15 games in 2021, had 154 tackles, 102 of those were solo, right? He also added a forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, and was really, really good in terms of stopping the run, breaking down 11 carries in the backfield for stuffs. And then 2022 came down with an injury, didn't really play the full season, only played in 12 games, but still at 83 tackles on pace for that over 100 mark once again that season if he stayed healthy, also had a sack that year and a couple of interceptions as well. Now, most recently signed with the Houston Texans to pair up with D'Amico Ryans and that new coaching staff over there, where he only, again, once again, played 12 games, a little bit injury prone, and I don't think he has ever played a full season, right? Um, so with that being said, a guy coming in here, filling a big need here for the Chargers, who last season um, actually ranked number 13 in yards allowed per rush number 26 in touchdowns allowed per game on the ground, and also number 17 in rush yards allowed per game. So I think right away, Denzel Perriman is a guy who can come in here, help stop the run, and be someone who you can rely on to make big tackles. Now also, last season, the Chargers did rank pretty much in the bottom half of every single defensive category. They were really bad. They were really, really bad. Uh, 26 in interception percentage, 14 in sack percentage, uh, 29 in pass yards a lot per game, 15 in uh, completion percentage. Just really, really, really not good at all. Now, in the interior of their linebacker core, they had Nick Neiman, who maybe they have faith in, right? They have uh, Diane Henley, who they do actually think he could be a good player. And I actually do like him as well. But that was one of the biggest reasons they brought over Troy Dye, the former uh, Minnesota Viking linebacker. I think he might get a little bit more playing time as a linebacker this season for the Chargers. But I think Denzel Perriman is a guy who can step in and be a day one starter for this defense. Obviously, you keep uh, Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack as your edge rushers I think you needed someone to you know be that mic over the middle as long as you have to wait until you draft someone to come and replace him or obviously they they have to go in this direction you can't there's nobody young out there Jordan Brooks um all the guys are gone right so I, I believe that Denzel Perriman is a guy that can come in here and make a difference right away but also let's say they draft someone in the fourth or fifth round or the third round whatever it may be right I think he can act as a leader a mentor and someone that can help develop that guy whoever it is even if it's just Troy Dye or a Diane Henley right I think he can help develop these guys and make them better better overall so I think what we got to say uh with this signing is hey good right they got a starting they got a starting caliber player next season hasn't been the healthiest throughout his career but is definitely an upgrade from what they had over the middle now with that being said there is so much work to be done it's unbelievable now comment down below who should be um, who are who should they draft in this year's draft? They have a top five pick, right? They need to get someone at number five, and it's probably gonna be right wide receiver, right? Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors. It's gotta be someone good, and they cannot miss in this pick because I'm sorry. Quinton Johnson didn't showcase anything last season, anything great. 
Uh, you know, Josh Palmer, I do like a lot. And Darius Davis, who knows? He could be a good player, but man, they have nothing outside of those guys. They need to make some power moves, and they need to make them quickly. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I do like this edition of Denzel Perriman. Uh, he is 31 years old, 5'11", former second-round pick of San Diego back in 2015. Um, but he's not going to be a long-term fill, right? This is a one-year deal. This is someone that you need to play this year to keep you competitive. I think it does. We'll see what it, it does for them going forward.